Do tour. I'm very excited. Nice. And you were talking about the start list that we got here. We have a stacked course or stacked uh, set of seven women, huh? Yeah, it's honestly, I was like uh, just thinking about it and I was like, if this was like a crew in the streets, this would be like an insane lineup. Like, you know, we have uh, Alexis Rowland, Nora Beck, Maria Thompson, Jill Perkins, newcomer Emma Crosby, um, Sylvia Mitchell-Muller, and then Ruby Payton, who obviously came up from the GWR, uh, the Nikita Amgen that would happen earlier today. I mean, that's like kind of a dream movie crew, honestly. Yeah, looking at that, there's nothing, no weak link in that lineup at all. So getting excited. What do you think about the course, Mary? I'm excited. So we watched earlier the Nikita GWR, and it the course allows for a lot of creativity. There's so many different lines. There's like the proper kind of like DFD and the down rail up uh, up at top. We saw obviously Hannah Peters transfer the down rail in the team challenge, which is kind of a cool zone. That was awesome. Uh, we have the electrical box down at the bottom. Obviously a corrugated tube. You know everyone loves a corrugated tube. Yeah. So we have that it's like down a backyard there. setup. Exactly. It's Red's backyard. Yeah, Red's backyard. <laughs> We're set up right in the spot for Red's area and a really nice course set up. I'm excited to see what these ladies have. Watch them in practice. They were going off and yes. we were talking to Maria earlier and she was saying that she was just having so much fun out there that she like hiked it all day long and she's like, yeah. I don't know if I saved enough for the competition, but I think she did. Dude, I'm so excited to watch Maria ride. I mean, she is insane and usually you only get to see her ride in video parts. Yeah, so cool to see her out here. We saw her in the uh, team challenge as well. She was a woman rider for the Burton team coming in second place. So she killed it on that one, but excited to see her in this full jam competition. Yes. Also really excited about uh, Nora Beck, first time at the Detour in the Big Show, I believe. She rips. She was at Miss Sewer Park at the Snowboarder Mag event that we do in the spring. She has so much power her riding like watch out for her i'm excited to see her out there and uh yeah just hyped for the entire do tour thing it's been a fun week so far yes. we got to ride some power here and now uh sitting here and gonna check out this street course out there to get it all cleaned up and ready to go from the ski yeah winter. yeah honestly was that the most snow that you've ever seen in colorado in one storm in colorado for sure yeah. the most i've ever ridden on a mountain and copper <laughs> had the goods. They've got the trails if you know where to go. So followed some locals around DC. Our third guy on the yes. party here showed us some good lines. So I had a blast and my back leg is pretty sore today. <laughs> for me, it was about uh, up to here, but I'm kind of short. So <laughs> a little less, a little less snow for everyone else, I think. Yeah, it slows it down a little bit when it gets that deep. <laughs> so um, also I wanted to talk quickly if we have a second. Yeah, I think so we do. Jill Perkins, um, if anyone didn't see, go watch Everybody, Everybody, the Snow Butter movie, like right now before we start to see her part. <laughs> I don't know because if we got enough time. It was actually uh, the video part of the year for women award awards that went down at Copper on Thursday. She also won, uh, what was the other one? She won two things. Oh, Reader's Choice, yep. which I think is actually called Fan Favorite. Fan Favorite. So she took home a lot of awards. So wondering if she could uh, add to that cachet tonight. I, I think she's got a really good chance. Jill, Jill's just one of those solid rail riders switch and forward sliding through down flat downs through all those all the rails features up there and i think this course really caters to her type of snowboarding totally and then also uh alexis rollins uh insane she has been on fire on the rails yes. it's crazy to watch her ride she just gets after it and goes so hard yeah so she had the uh switch front board heard around the world um on down flat down <laughs> at big boulder this past year at miss super park and she has emerged over the last year as one of the most insane up-and-coming rookies that we've had um in jibbing and street snowboarding she is from hills from highland hills minnesota um as does emma crosby you get those small hills the tow rope and you can just, just laugh and laugh and laugh yeah and you really turn out like just rail uh, insane rail rider yeah, and Alexis actually a competitor when she was a lot younger out here yes. at Copper too for the USASA event that they hold wow. in the spring and she used to kill it back then in the slope style and in the pipe and I now just focusing that. a lot on the rails and yes. killing it at that too. Yeah, very progressive field. I think this is going to be really intense. I mean, we're kind of having a renaissance of women snowboarding in general, specifically with street riding. So to have all these women that most of them are usually video part riders, to have them here at Dew is very exciting. Yeah, and it's great. Like you were talking about a renaissance of women snowboarding, the slope style is just going off at like such a crazy level and yes. the pipe riding as well. We saw Jayu this morning taking home the gold oh, and that insane. modified pipe was such a smooth, good run. And uh, yeah, excited to see these ladies put it down on this course today. Yeah, this is going to be, a, we have one more women's event, but right now we're really psyched to keep momentum. All right, I think we are getting ready to kick cool. this thing off. Let's head down to the course and uh, watch these ladies shred. Stoked.
and getting ready to drop it off. They're going to drop in order to start it out. Ruby Payton will be our dropper. She, she won the Nikita event earlier that you were talking yes. about. So excited to see her first drop. Followed by Emma Crosby, Sylvia Mittermuller, Alexis Rowland, Nora Beck, Maria Thompson, and Jill Perkins. Great. Ruby is a local rider. I'm not sure. She lives in Summit County, I believe. Um, but she's uh, really uh, been showing up lately on fire during the GWR. I mean, with the Woodward rails that they have here at Copper, that line in the middle of it. Yeah, All right, so here we go. So Ruby Payton up at the top. Mary, I'm going to let you take it away as our analyst on this one. Okay, well, you're going to have to help me call the tricks because I swear that I give me just lots of excitement. There we go. We're going. <laughs> She's starting off. Connor, you're a far better trick caller than I am, so I'm going to have to help on that. <laughs> so board side to board side there for Ruby at the bottom, unstrapping, get ready to hike back up. This is going to be fast paced. These ladies will be tired by the end of this course. We've got Emma Crosby up at the top, ready to drop in. So Emma coming out of Minnesota, she's a Salt Lake local now, and she rips. She's kind of an all-terrain dominating machine. You can see, like, she's got good air awareness. Oh, good enough. A little early on that back one out, but it's just the first run. And uh, just saying hi to the corrugated tube right yeah, there. A little slappy on like there, saying what up. Giving it a little kiss. But yeah, pole jam 180 onto those stairs. Very solid trick right there for her. You're going to see a lot more from Emma for sure in the future. And now we have Sylvia Mittermuller coming out. Sylvia is a veteran competitor back on the scene right now. Very exciting. Nice lip slide there for Sylvia. Ride and switch over into this stall area. Oh, and just slipping out a little bit over the top of that rail. Now remember, this is a jam session, so the women have time to kind of get comfortable on the course, find the lines they want, and kind of uh, tackle things piece by piece. So even if they fall on one run, they got a lot more time to make it up. Yeah, this is Alexis rolling in. She's going board slide all the way through the down flat down. So a solid start for Alexis on her first run. Board slide 180 Whoa, rewind. That was a Minnesota trick. That was 100% <laughs> a Minnesota trick. That is the kind of thing you learn on a tow rope and you execute in very important situations such as this one. Have to have such good control on the rails to bring that to 180 and then bring it back. You have to lock in. There's a nice little slash down the rails right there from Nora Beck. So like I said, Nora Beck has a lot of power. Oh, that was reverse taco. I mean, that's a good one. We don't see that that often, but Nora, I tell you, she can she can take some slams. She always comes back. She, the she, proper rollout of that one. <laughs> yes. So Nora, I believe she uh, she's a, lives in Oregon, so she rides a lot of uh, uh, Bachelor, I believe. And here is Maria Thompson, pole jam, grabbing Indy onto the stairs. There is the tail slide 270 out. Very proper. Front board on the corrugated. Now, I got to tell you, that's pretty scary to do. <laughs> yeah, going sideways on a corrugated tube is frightening. You know, corrugated tubes, they, they're the kind of features that don't, they don't really like you. No, they really want to catch your edge and throw you on your back or your face. Yes. And here we have Jill Perkins. Again. Oh, gap back lip. Oh, see, just such proper style. Jill really brings it. She, she only does things properly. Yeah. Oh, carving back oh. over and smashing into the electrical box there after the side get on and board slide through that waterfall rail. That might have been a little dust box influence maybe there. I know she, uh, you know, hangs, maybe hangs out with them a little bit in Salt Lake. <laughs> a little creativity there. So yeah, these ladies having to hike all the way back up to the top of the course before they drop back in. And now that they've dropped in, they will be able to go in whatever order if they get back up to the top. So as you can see, everyone kind of feeling the course out. Oh, we have another rider on course right now. 50-50 through the down flat down. 50-50 front side, 180 out. That looks like Ruby Payton right there. It's so like we said, Ruby winning the GWR that Nikita puts on at lunchtime, coming up to be in the big leagues. Very exciting. Oh, oh that pole looks, jam. Is that an Emma Crosby? Hard to see with the light fading. Yeah, that was an Emma Crosby. She's got some ups. Just getting a little backseat on that one off the pole jam. That is a very steep pole jam. I don't know if you guys can see that from the course, but when I was checking out the course earlier, Mary, it is a pole jam. <laughs> yes. It puts you up there, so you got to be ready for it. So one of the things with these women is they, most of these women, they film for their season. They film for a living. They're out there in the streets shoveling, they're doing video parts. I mean, Connor, what do you think is the difference of going from filming a video part to being 
in this kind of uh, environment competing dropping into rails. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a different setup because anywhere you're going to go out in the streets is going to have this many different types of things to hit all in one spot. You've got to kind of move around to find all those spots. But when we're able to put all these features into one rail jam, so I think the bit hardest part is trying to figure out your line of what you want to do. Totally, finding the flow. And, and also I think about, like, it's a really different situation. You know, there's a lot of pressure when you're with, a, you know, a photographer and a filmer and a small crew in, like, a city spot where you could get, like, kicked at any time. But here you have, like, an entire different form of uh, pressure and stress. Exactly. I think it gets a little bit more fun, though, jamming with your friends. All these ladies know each true. other very well out there, so get to ride with good crew of friends and feed off each other's energy. So look, as this time starts to wind down, these ladies really pick it up and start feeding off each other the tricks that they're going for. Yeah, it's exciting to watch. I mean, it's not often that you get to have all these women together. As Connor said, they are friends, but to have them all riding at one time, oh, that was sick. Oh, that looks like a Lexus Roland right there going for the tailside 270 over the closeout. Wow. Alexis is definitely very, very tech. She has opportunity of lapping that toe up and just perfecting things. And just, she's really into switch tricks and getting the most tech as she can. Oh, going for the switch nose press through the down flat down. So tough to do to keep that on the nose and not tap going all the way through. That was bid 418. That was Maria Thompson going for the nose press there. That looks like Jill Perkins. 50-50 through the down flat down for Jill over to that concrete barrier drop. Oh, proper between board. the bindings right there. You know, she's probably doing it for her dog stamming. <laughs> I you know? bet. That's what I'd be shredding for. I'd be shredding for my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Gucci. Yeah. That looks like an Emma Crosby right there. Oh, going 50-50 oh. on that square rail, but they've got that set up like a diamond, so showing some nice balance up top there. 50-50, nice. 360 out. Very nice back three out. Emma bringing some uh, slope style chops. Years ago, she's competing slope style, and now she uh, films more. But I think she's bringing that competitive edge to her performance tonight. Yeah, definitely looking like it. So that was Nora Beck who just kind of washed out there. So she decided to pull out, and um, so she's hiking back up. A little less of a hike up to the top, save some of that energy if you know that you went down on that first rail there. Smart strategy there from Nora. And as you can see, this is not a short hike. I mean, these ladies are like, this is a lot of energy. And they've been practicing. They've had two practices today. They've been, it was a powder day yesterday. And here they are at, what, 5 p.m.? Yeah. And they're still sending it. And let's not forget the fact, too, that copper is at about 97, 100 feet of altitude. So the air a little bit thinner up here than you would see down in a city hiking those rails down there, so. I know, I'm on my uh, second cough drop in 30 minutes just to get a little <laughs> extra hydration from the cough drop. <laughs> yeah, a little cough drop hydration. I had a couple of cups of tea earlier. <laughs> Going hard. Oh, nice indie grab. Hole jamming. Front board all the way through that wow. flat bar. That was beautiful. Board slide out to switch. That was Sylvia Mittermuller with a solid run. Yeah, so Sylvia locking into that flat bar. And we have Ruby Payton drop in again. Oh, nice half cab on to 50-50 for Ruby over the waterfall rail. What she got for us here? 50-50, 50-50, the front side, 180 out. So putting two tricks together right there for Ruby Payton. I like those waterfall rails. I think that they had an element of a uh, change-up, switch-up that you're able to, uh, that allows the riders to get a little more creative. Oh, yeah, and I think we'll see some switch-ups on there. Yeah. We saw Alexis do that on that uh, concrete barrier earlier. Oh, oh, nice, 270 on there. Just washing out a little bit. It looks like Nora Beck again. Yep, going for the 50-50. Just coming off a little early, tapping over. Oh, oh, hitting the electrical oh, box. Forward sliding the short way. I might have seen some sparks on that. That was pretty impressive. Oh, that looks like an attempt at a switch back lip right there from Maria Thompson. Oh, there's a half cap 50-50. And then a little board slide on the corrugated. I'm liking the uh, the creative line finding right now. I know, really, this course offers a lot of different ways to cut over and get over the rails, different options of getting off from the side. Everything's kind of raised up. Oh, nice pole jam indie right there. This is Jill Perkins. Board slide back out to forward for Jill. Interesting fact about Jill Perkins. Did you know, Connor, that she has appeared in a Justin Bieber music video? I had no clue that she yeah. appeared in a Justin Bieber music video. It's, it's even more rad than it sounds because she skateboarded in it. Oh, sick. Yeah, Jill's yeah. an amazing skateboarder. 
a gap lip right there for Emma Crosby. The front board 270 Look out from that. the side. All the way over to the electrical box, swiveling around up on top. Little Nana spin right there. Very creative from Emma Crosby. You can see she's stoked on that one. So another solid run, and these girls are just getting so many laps in. You know, so Connor, I don't know if everybody knows, but you also have judged really big snowboard competitions. So if you're looking at this, like, what is a judge looking for to see from the field right now? I think for this one, it's going to be a lot of variety. Hitting every single feature, swivels Whoa! like that on the corrugated. Was that Forrest Bailey from the mid-2000s <laughs> or Alexis Rowland? That was amazing. Maybe Lucas Magoon out there? Can't <laughs> oh, no, that's Bib 419. That is Alexis Rowland. Wow, that was impressive. But yeah, the judges looking for that execution. They want to see these ladies get to the end of those rails, sliding all the way through, locking in between the bindings, getting it out to 90 degrees, and really just kind of using everything on the course and really going for it. That's cool. I think that this is uh, this kind of setup allows for that kind of creativity as well as those proper tricks. It's really kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah, it really is. Copper doing such a great job. The Woodward crew all week long just digging out these courses. If you had seen it earlier yesterday, you would have seen people out there with shovels, just huge shovel loads getting it out of there. That was crazy. It was really ridiculous. Anyone that was up here for the powder day was very, very stoked, but I very much, I think we all very much appreciate the hard work of the Woodward Copper uh, crew. They had their work cut out for them. All right, so we're getting a little update from our judges right here. Alexis Roland currently sitting in that top spot with Emma Crosby in the second position right now. So we'll see if that changes up a little bit as these girls get going. But yeah, Alexis putting down some serious tricks like we were talking about earlier. So Minnesota uh, top one and two right now. There's a nice board slide through the down flat down. Sylvia Mittermuller, also a local rider, um, obviously European, but she's lived in Summit County for quite some time. Yeah, you see Sylvia riding around all over the place here. She has been so consistent, such a good rider for such a long time, so good to see her out here in the street style course. Yes. Wondering too, uh, Loki, she's trying to go back to the Olympics because I saw her oh. out in Loon, New Hampshire getting some uh, uh, USASA points recently. Yeah, Sylvia, a former Olympian as well, so trying to get back out there to Beijing 2020. Very cool. And that was mid 418, Maria Thompson. She's trying to get that switchback lip through that down bar, it looks like. Nice firecracker there. Ruby Payton back on course, just making it look easy, like she hasn't already competed in an entire contest already today. <laughs> exactly. And they were hiking, that was a longer jam, that was 40 minutes earlier, so yeah. a 40 minute jam, plus a practice for that, plus two practices, and now oh hiking God. again for this 30 minute jam. Yeah, that sounds, I'm just exhausted thinking about it. And Jill finishing things off on that electrical box down there. Very nice. Jill Perkins, originally from Ventura, California, now living in Salt Lake City, the uh, one of the modern uh, hubs for jibbing. You have Salt Lake, a lot of guys there. I think early, later on we're going to have Chris Grenier hanging out with us oh, to do the men's legendary. street style. Legendary. Stick oh, backside that 360. Emma Crosby just slope styling up the course. <laughs> I'm not sure if that qualifies for spin to win, but <laughs> <laughs> nice gap lip right there. That looks like Nora that? Beck. Nora Beck. So, all right, we are looking at 12 minutes left in the jam. So a little over halfway through for these ladies out there and get in some serious runs. Yeah, this is impressive. Nora Beck, as he, like like I said before, I know I keep saying it, but she's just a very strong rider. She really has an explosive ollie, and you can see this power when she's riding. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really awesome to see the girls that are out there in the streets using these rails like street rails and really having to pop onto them, get into those slides, and rip all the way through as we get to a little bit of a slow time, as they, like we were saying, the altitude and yes. a lot of riding today, getting back up to the top. But look at those dogs down there. Look how much fun they're having. Know, they're having a good party. time. One of them's carrying a leash around, but he's like, I don't care. I'm going to run everywhere. It's chill. A lot of dogs here at Copper. It's been pretty cool. But anyway, it's snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> Get out there and pet every dog you walk past. Yes. It's, you know, goal it's of mine. To. Yeah, it is really hard not to. But uh, in addition to the cute furry dogs running in the foreground of the shot right now, the women are getting back up there. And let's just reiterate again for anyone just joining us that we have a stacked lineup here at the Dutour Street Style. These women represent the, a who's who of street snowboarding. And they're all collected together in one contest setting. It's an incredible sight to see. On course now, Maria Thompson going through the down flat down. 
switch into this, switch front side, oh, forward slide beautiful. through the concrete. Berea Thompson putting one together on that run right there. Going all switch through that. So hard to keep on that concrete board she, slide the whole way through. Man. She is so techy. She's so good. She is stoked on that. And you know who else is probably stoked? Her five-year-old son, hopefully watching back home in British Columbia. That is awesome. Yeah, we got this going on the live view. It's crazy to think that she is a mom and also, oh, going down a little bit right there, but also just sits there and slays rails for yeah, her day job. Going for that switch lift through that rail. That was big. That was Sylvia. So a solid attempt there for Sylvia. Let's see if she gets that one. Switch tricks a lot harder on these rails. So, oh, cap 270. Oh, heck yeah. Going for that half cap or the switch lip slide right there. Oh, that was our, our Minnesotan Wonder Rider, Alexis again. Lexi Rowland right there. And back to the top with Jill. Oh, Jill going for the board slide through. And unstrapping real quick. Why well, ride all the way down? I can just hike back up real quick for that one round. And now, as we're waiting for the next one to drop. So, I mean, okay, Connor, if you if you had to drop in to line on this, where would you drop in? I it's either that down bar or I'd be gapping on the down flat down because, like we were saying earlier, <laughs> it's so much harder to slide through the whole thing. So I'd do the yeah. cop out and go for the gap on it, but. No, it looks like such a fun course. That down bar set up perfectly close in, close out. As we see Ruby Payton going into the down flat down there, coming off a little bit early. 50-50 front side, 180 out. A little shifty before the landing right there from Ruby. You know, what I was thinking I would drop in on is I feel like there's some powder on the rider's right side. <laughs> that might be nice to slash a little bit and a little softer if you fall. I know, right? When we were younger, maybe ripping these rails, but as we get a little <laughs> bit older, pow is what you want to find. It's so much softer. Oh, oh 360. Emma Crosby really just using all the elements of the course from the jibs to the takeoffs to transition that I can't even see. And she's finding it and just popping over it. Giving the people what they want, really. There's a 50-50 front side, 180, 180 out. Switch back side, 180 right there. Uh, Nora Beck just, oh, wow. Oh, no, back side, 180 into the fence jam. You know, a new trick we haven't seen yet today. Actually, you know what we saw who um, kind of uh, initiated that trick was uh, Rennie Rennie Congas during yep. the team challenge. Rennie was doing that. He was also getting over to that snow wall over there and doing yes. like a little toe pick into it. There's a lot of opportunities in that wall. Maybe people aren't seeing it, but it's, it's you know, it's ripe for the picking. For sure. You think you're going to see anyone jib that cat sitting right there? I would be a fan. I think that would be some extra bonus points. A little wall ride on the blade. Mark Clavin, can we get a cat jib? <laughs> I know he's not he's, he's not in this, but just, you know. Front board out to switch. There's a half cap 50-50 all the way through. Oh, wow. So a solid run right there. That's 418. That is Maria Thompson. So two big runs right there wow. for Maria in a row. That's phenomenal. Maria coming off a recent street trip in Newfoundland where they got dumped with snow. Right now, she was in Newfoundland. They had a crazy storm. She was here. We had a crazy storm. Pretty sure if anyone's trying to ride POW, they should follow Maria Thompson. Just not creepily, just follow her yes. out to the snow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yes, not creepily, but like maybe just watch where she's going, go there, and you'll get powder turns. So as we're checking out uh, right now, keeping an eye on this, we're going to be watching a couple highlights. If you check out the little box that shows up here as we keep watching the live action. You can see some of the hams the girls have been putting down so far because we have a little bit more time left in the rail jam. But here we have, I believe that's Ruby. Oh, there's that switch lip. We have about seven minutes left in the jam. Yeah, there's the board slide all the way through that waterfall rail right there. Perfect, it's nice to see that between the bindings. That's really what you want, the proper, proper squared up between the bindings. Yep, that's the execution those judges are looking for. Between the bindings, or if you're going to go 270 out a lot, sometimes get on that front or back foot a little bit. Yes. Oh, you know what I'd love to see? I'm just going to say, Nora, if you can hear us, we'd love to see one of your uh, really proper front blunts. Nora has one of the best front blunts in uh, Lady Circle. I'm just going to answer that with a yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> There's that little slappy down in the corner. We got a rider on course. Hold jam. Oh, no, going into the down flat down. That is Alexis rolling. Oh, there's a forward slide on the side of that electrical box. Get the box getting both levels there. Alexis making sure that everyone can see her hands out there as it gets a little bit darker. 
Alexis, too, was a, uh, she was one of the nominees for Rookie of the Year in the Snowboarder Awards, um, which is really impressive because this year's Women's Rookie was a very, very competitive game. I can imagine that was a tight voting window for that one. Yes. Oh, 50-50's front oh, side, wow. 270. Kind of going down on the landing there. Hard to tell who that was. They just shot out of frame. Oh, we have a uh, Emma, Emma Crosby. Crosby. Emma Crosby really pulling out with the jib stops. Very exciting to see that. There's Alexis Roland with that sick board slide to switch 50-50 half cap back out. And we have Maria Thompson dropping in, annihilating oh. the down flag down right there with that 27 out. Wow. Front board, a 270 wow. out. That is three in a row for Maria wow. Thompson putting it down. The crowd is losing it. They are so psyched. Make it Mary go Owen Wilson on us over here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Did you see that, Connor? <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Maria's got if a only. smile on her face. Oh, lip slide 270. A little bit of a face hit right there. Hopefully she's all right. Get back up quickly. And that is what is so cool. Like you were saying earlier, having this group of women together in one place right now, the building of progression just in 30 minutes is insane. Here we have Nora Beck. just Nora 50-50, front side 360 out. Going into that front side 50-50 up there. And then coming back and bonking the electrical oh. box. Kind of went for like a ho-ho, and then it didn't really work out maybe. <laughs> and uh, But, you know, next time. Solid, getting right over. Same what up to the fans, just you know. Yeah, you gotta give the people some love. Keep that stoke up. Here we have, I believe, uh, is that Sylvia on Sylvia with the board side through the down flat down. Front board through the concrete and just not able to bring it back. No. Just Landing saying, 90. yeah, saying hello to the transition. Just, you know, gotta make sure the ground's still there. <laughs> Double high five. And in our bottom highlights. That's Jill Perkins, it looks like. Yes. And there's Jill on the big oh, screen, too. Two Jills. Two Jills is better than one Jill. Jill unstrapping down there. So, you know, Jill spending most of her time in the streets, I mean, this is like, this is really exciting to see her in a competition environment. You know, she works very, very hard to get clips all season long. And right now, it's like to do them in this capacity is very impressive. Yeah, especially in this jam format on rails that aren't really the same as street rails totally. set up and getting into the competition spirit. It's really cool to see new riders out here in competition for these types it of really events. It really is. That's what's so exciting, too. I mean, if you guys, anyone hasn't seen any of these ladies ride before, you hit them with a follow on social media. You know, they post clips, very impressive snowboarding clips all the time on their Instagrams. Yeah, I definitely follow most of them on Instagram, checking out what Only they're doing. Only most, Connor? Most? Well, I, some of them I didn't really <laughs> know about beforehand, so I'm going to go onto Instagram later with this start list and really go out there and give them some more followers. In a not creepy way. In a not creepy way. <laughs> <laughs> Here in the bottom, you can see some of that creative tranny finding. That's pretty cool. Two minutes left for these ladies. As we see a 50-50 front side, oh 270 switch God. up. Emma Crosby just really showing her Minneapolis roots right there. Oh, going for the backside one onto the corrugated to the switch 50-50. That was really impressive. That, that kind was. of change up on a down flat down is something that's really cool to see that honestly, we wouldn't have seen a competition a couple years ago. Oh, and that, like you were talking about earlier, these ladies just going real hard at these rails. Switch front side, board wow, slide. That was or switch back beautiful. Lift, excuse me. That was, Maria is just a phenom. That was beautiful. I'm clapping here. No one can see it, but I'm clapping. <laughs> Get close enough to the mic, you might be able to hear it. <laughs> That is so impressive. I mean, you know what this makes me really excited for is next fall, September, when the movies drop. The Burton movie, the Uninvited movie, all the new uh, the new snowboarder movie. These women are gonna have insane parts. This looks like Alexis dropping switch. That the switch front side, oh! board slide through the down wow. flat down for Alexis Roland. Wow, and the crowd goes wild. That is amazing. Switch board slide out to forward for Alexis. So like you were talking about earlier, the switch front side board slide through the down flat down, hard around the world. Wow, super proper. I mean, Alexis is not messing around. That, that no song right there. That no. was that was fire all the way down from start to finish. So good. So she was sitting in that first spot before, but we've saw, seen Maria Thompson and Emma Crosby put down some other tricks. So we'll see at the end how that rolls out, but you gotta think that that really helps her case there with that switch front side board slide. Oh my God, honestly, Connor, I bet you're happy to be sitting here in the announcing booth as opposed to the judging booth right now. I've said it all week, it's been great in the <laughs> announcing booth, no stress. <laughs> and all these events have been so close to call.
going, oh, Jill going down right there, coming a little bobble on the landing. So. Time to pick up some more speed. Sorry, Connor. No Thank worries. You. Jill still, of course, with the tail press backside 180 out, but we get an update from our judges right now. Maria Thompson sitting in that top spot, Alexis Rowland in second, and Emma Crosby in the third place. But there's still just 30 seconds for the girls to leave an impression on the judges. If you're Nora Beck, it's still anyone's game. You got about probably one, maybe you hustle two more drops. So a nice front board to fakey right there, and high speed 50 50 on a corrugated. We're going to see get the final drops in before the judges close their clipboards. We've got a couple people hiking up, a couple people at the top. This has been a really impressive 30 minutes, Connor. I'm kind of blown away. I would have to say the same thing, Mary. Blown away by what these ladies are putting down on these rails. Just so technical, so clean. All right, so ooh, ooh. as time comes up, we got a hookup on the down flat down. She looks all right there. Maria though. Thompson, big smile on her face. You know, I don't think she probably even knows that she was sitting in first place 30 seconds ago, but, uh, you know, she's stoked. Yeah, she's just stoked. She put down all those tricks and then trying to go through that board, hooking up on that heel side edge, and that just goes to show you how difficult those rails are to make it all the way through. Alrighty, so we're going to send it down to our third partner in crime, DC. DC, can you hear us down there, buddy? Connor, Manning, Mary Walsh, I can hear you. Hey, DC. I can hear, DC. We I hear, can hear you. Can you Loud guys see me? We can't see you, but we feel your energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you guys. Oh, now we can see you. <laughs> oh, there you are. I'm, oh, hey. <laughs> well, hey. It's our first year at Copper Mountain. Copper Mountain, make some noise for all these ladies throwing down out here for you. We got a beautiful sunset out here. Check out the Alp and Glow up on the 10 mile range. This is what it's all about. We're having a good time. and. I don't even know what I'm being handed here, but I'm going to go throw it out to you guys. So uh, make some noise if you want some free product out there. And uh, Taylor, if you can follow me, I'm going to go run on over here. Make some noise for these ladies throwing down out here. Yeah, it was Maria's birthday the other day. Happy belated birthday, Maria. I know, right? We <laughs> DC getting the fun Jesus. job hyping the crowd. I can't even hear you guys anymore. I can't hear you anymore, Connor and Mary. There you go. I have no idea what I'm giving you here. Do you still want it? I stepped on it. Do you still want it? All right. You pointed it out that I dropped it. There you go. Copper Mountain, we love you. Summit County, a beautiful place. We're in a little slice of heaven right here. Once again, look at the Alpen Glow up there on the 10 miles. So stoked to be out here. Much props to all these ladies. One more time, guys, let's pay it off for them. Make some noise for all these women that threw down for us tonight. We got two more amazing events coming your way. We got men's ski street style and men's snowboard street style. So stick around, it's gonna be a good time. Get yourself a nice beverage and we're gonna have a good time. Oh, aloha. What's happening? Young Bogart in the house. One of the futures in the pipe. That's what I'm talking about. That's You never know who you're going to bump into out here. We got Oystein Bratton hanging out in the mix too. But big shout out to everybody. Thanks, Taylor, my cameraman, for holding it down as well. I love you guys. We're going to pay it off here in just a few for the ladies. Connor, Barry, back to you two beautiful people. Thank, thank you. you so much, DC. You're, gosh, you're too flattering. I know. Thank you, DC. Um, but yeah, you get the good job down there. You get to make the people super excited standing down there right next to the course. But uh, And then also get to hand out the podium, too. That's going to be pretty sweet. But yeah, Mary, let's go back and talk about what we saw on course. Connor, I am so stoked. It really got crazy in the last like 10 or 15 minutes there. Yeah, those ladies feeding off the energy of each other. We saw Maria with a couple of those sweet tricks, the switch backside lip slide through the rail, really getting these ladies hyped up to uh, go out there and put down some of their bigger tricks. It was amazing. I think what was that was the most exciting thing to me was seeing the like level upping of the switch tricks. Alexis goes to the switch front board, Maria gets the switch lip. I mean, that was so cool. So rad to see and yeah, again, just 
every year the, the level steps up for these ladies in the street style course and just so stoked to be here and be a part of watching yeah. these ladies throw down. And the creativity. I mean, I think we got to touch on how creative the riding was. I mean, there's many lines to choose from, but in addition to that, we saw the girls having enough speed to come and like, you know, get some uh, exciting kind of stalls up on the electrical box. I know, yeah, we saw some uh, almost some b-boy moves going on out there. <laughs> yes. A little break yes. dancing. It's usually more of an app race situation, but <laughs> they put it on hill and it, it worked. All righty, so Wonderful DC, interest. I heard you've got some news on our podium. We're going to send it back down to you. That's right. Connor Manning, Mary Walsh, thank you guys. You guys sound amazing up there. Appreciate the call. Enjoy listening to my ear. All right, well, with no further ado, let's go ahead and get through with this in third place. Make some noise for Emma Crosby. Where's Emma? Emma, where are you? Looking for Emma Crosby. Here she comes. Emma Crosby, third place. Thank you, Chris Castaneda, handing it out. Make some noise for Emma Crosby, third place out here. Yeah, I love the stoke. All right, in second place, she was just standing up here. I just got to formally meet her for the first time yesterday. Make some noise for Alexis Rowland, everybody. Yeah, one more time. Let's hear for Alexis Rowland. Minnesota represent. And your winner. This is going to be a spoiler alert because she just celebrated her birthday two days ago. I need you guys to go nuts so for Maria Thompson. Birthday girl. Birthday girl. Maria. Are, are you enjoying this birthday weekend? Yes, very much. All right, get in the middle here. Get in the middle. Get in between Alexis. Get in between Alexis and Emma. All right, one more time. Let's hear it for your champion out here celebrating her birthday two days ago. Maria Thompson and your podium out here for Women's Snowboard Street Style. I said let's Connor, it for I am freaking out with excitement right now. I'm not trying to overplay this, but this is an amazing podium. These these girls, these three don't do contests, and here they are. One, two, three. Full such silver, an, copper. Such an amazing event to watch. These ladies throwing down such technical tricks on these rails and really putting it down. A great podium again with Emma Crosby, Alexis Rowland, and Maria Thompson taking that top spot. Oh, we have right. one more thing from DC. He's got a best yes. trick coming down. What do you think it's going to be? I, that's right, guys. I got a best trick to hand out. and Well, it's for a lip slide 270 out, and I'm so glad she's still hanging out right next to me here. Make some noise. Anyone out there from Minnesota? Make some noise. Midwest represent Alexis Rowley. Congratulations. Getting best trick as well as up on the podium. How much fun are you having out here at the Dew Tour? Oh my goodness, this is the most fun. I love rail jams, I love competing like this, and to be out here with all my homies is the best. So. Well, we love having you here, so thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Congratulations one more time. Let's hear it for Alexis Rowland getting on the podium and winning best trick tonight. Thank you, DC. That is amazing to see. That was a pretty yeah, was a pretty insane, insane switch lip 270, lip 270 out, from out from Alexis, bumping her up into that second spot there. But uh, yeah, again, a, an amazing podium, an amazing competition, and really just top-notch snowboarding, Mary. It was amazing. I got it. I got to give it up to all of the girls that competed today because that is an insane lineup. It was anyone's game, and I just think it's so sick that they all were out there, and then those three to get the podium, they, they crushed it. Such good shredding, so good to see, and we've got the men's ski street style coming up right after this, and uh, yeah, I think we're going to cut it out to uh, some adaptive highlights here. So uh, this is Connor and Mary signing out, saying goodbye, and we will uh, catch you guys later for the men's street style. Stay tuned. We're experimenting a new era of women's slope style snowboarding right now. I mean, they're just pushing the limit. Every single contest you see a new trick. They've opened the door for the, the big tricks. They've entered the, the double cork era, you know. That was my favorite time to watch the guys when they were doing a new trick every single contest and you didn't really know what to expect. And that's what we see for the women's right now. And it's fun to watch. It's super fun to watch right now.